Szanowni Państwo, Bogusław Rabota, Rzeczpospolita, witam Skarpacza i rozmowa z bardzo ważną osobą, z panem Eliasem Gideonem, senior wiceprezydentem Energy Systems Westinghouse. Polska stoi przed bardzo ważnym wyzwaniem, jakim jest zmiana miksu energetycznego. Musimy się uniezależnić od dostaw energii i źródeł energii ze wschodu i atom, polski atom to jest niewątpliwe wyzwanie na najbliższe lata. Pan Elias Gideon reprezentuje amerykańską firmę Westinghouse, jedną z najbardziej zaawansowanych firm na świecie, jeśli idzie o energię nuklearną. I o tym właśnie będziemy rozmawiać. Nice to have you here, Elias. Uh, you think it's Poland is ready for nuclear energy? I think so. Uh, so if I look at the overall energy challenges that are facing Europe, Uh, especially in, in the last year, driven primarily by the Russian invasion of Ukraine, uh, nuclear energy remained the solution for Poland and for the region uh, to meet its decarbonization target as well as to strengthening its energy security. Mm -hmm. Westinghouse uh, remains committed to help Poland achieve its uh, energy security uh, and strengthening it through uh, providing uh, the AP-1000 reactors. That But not only reactors, you can provide something more. Yes, yes, we have, uh, of course, we're providing the entire power plant uh, and the services that will come with it. And this is not only to build the unit, this is a hundred year relationship between the United States uh, government, the Polish government, and, and Westinghouse, uh, in addition to supplying uh, and building the plant, we will be servicing uh, and providing fuel for the life of the power plant. And this is on our AP-1000, and I'll be happy, of course, to discuss the other product and services that Westinghouse can provide. Uh, in which way nuclear energy can be complementary for Uh, Polish and, and European uh, energy sources? That's a very good question. Uh, so the AP-1000 reactor that uh, we provide is the world's uh, safest, most reliable and most advanced reactor on the market today. Uh, we have four units in commercial operation in China that are setting industry records Uh, two units under construction in the United States and one of them in its final commissioning phase and four more that are construction in China. So the next unit in Poland will be series number 11. So the AP-1000, it's a proven technology, uh, very reliable and it works very well with renewable energy such as solar and, and wind because it responds very rapidly to grid fluctuations uh, to meet the energy needs of, uh, of the country. In addition, of course, it is safe, uh, reliable, and secure energy source. Mm -hmm. uh, so the AP-1000 uh, reactor that we're providing Uh, it has uh, very high availability and reliability, so that will help Poland meet its energy needs. And with, if you take a look at the six units that are up and running, you are avoiding about 53 million tons of CO2 emission per year. So that is equivalent to about removing 1.2 million cars Uh, from the road. Uh, so putting all these factors together with this... Means that it's eco, that it's, it's efficient, safe. yes? And it is safe. And it's uh, safe. It safe. And it is proven. What, what are your advantages in comparison with your uh, competition? Sure. So the AP-1000 plant it has a passive safety system. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. In the event a station loses all its power, such as what happened to Fukushima, this reactor shuts itself automatically and safely without operator intervention for 72 hours. Uh, so that's one. 
The second is our reactor is proven. As I mentioned, we have 10, and this will be number 11. The third, uh, it is, uh, has a very small footprint compared to our competition, but not only for large reactors, even if you compare it to SMRs with the same capacities, this AP1000 reactor has a very small footprint. Uh, so the combination of all these, plus the industry performance records that uh, we're seeing from our Chinese units, separate us well ahead from all our competition. Mm -hmm. uh, how long does it take to develop this uh, reactor just from point zero until the first warming up? Sure. So the plan that we have proposed to, uh, as part of the intergovernment agreement uh, to our Polish uh, client and, uh, and the Polish government, since the design is already done, it is standardized, uh, it is modularized, so this facilitates the um, procurement and construction of the plan. Putting all these things together, if the government uh, makes the, te the technology selection this fall, as we have been told, uh, we will have the first unit up and running in commercial operation by 2033. 2033. Uh, do you expect any participation of Polish industry in this, in this deal? Absolutely, absolutely. We have met uh, over 500 Polish companies in Poland, of course, uh, to understand their capabilities and capacities. And we have signed dozens of MOUs for these companies to participate with us in this program. Uh, over, uh, we're planning to spend over 100 billion zlotys back into the Polish economy in the execution of uh, this project. In addition, we have established uh, an office in, uh, in Krakow. As a matter of fact, we just celebrated the uh, one-year anniversary of that office. Uh, we have about 165 employees over there that are serving all of Westinghouse. And we plan to expand this office and make it an engineering center for execution of this project, but as well as for projects in the region. So it's not only uh, on the engineering side, but also on the procurement side, we would like to use many of these companies that will be participating with us on this project for export opportunities for projects, be it in the Czech Republic, in the Ukraine, in Slovenia, and others. You have an idea how to train staff for this power station? Because it needs hundreds of employees, uh, some of them very advanced in, in technology. you have any plans for education? Do you think that it's necessary to collaborate with some Polish universities? Do you have any plans in this? Not only we have plans, we're already executing it. Really? Uh, yes. As an example, we, as we're speaking, we have 15 students from five Polish uh, universities in the United States going through an internship program that was fully funded by Westinghouse. So we have, they've been there for about two months. As a matter of fact, this is the last week, they're coming back. And we have introduced them to our nuclear technology as well as the way that uh, we uh, design and build the AP-1000. Many of these students already expressed strong interest to join Westinghouse here in Poland and help us develop the talent. Uh, so this is uh, from the engineering side. And of course, we are working with our client, PEJ, in developing a plan to train the operators as well as the maintenance people uh, for the life of the plan. Uh, so our commitment to Poland is not only to build this unit, but we are here to stay for the duration of not only of uh, the construction phase, but also for the operation and maintenance phase. Uh, as far as I know, there's a problem behind is uh, financing this mm -hmm. investment here. Do you think that uh, your partners and the owners of Westinghouse are able just to contribute with some uh, finances from the states? Financement? 
Part of the, uh, uh, the uh, feed study and part of the U.S. offer that we have submitted, first of all, we have funded uh, the feasibility, the, the feed, which is the front-end engineering study. Uh, and that was funded by the U.S. government, Westinghouse, and Bechtel. So we spent $10 million on that study uh, for a whole year. And we came up with uh, a detailed information of over 3,000 pages of information with, on the project execution, on the cost and schedule estimate, and financing plan. So the financing plan uh, will include uh, funding uh, from, uh, and financing from uh, U.S. Exim Bank, export credit agencies, and other agencies in the United States, as well as equity from Westinghouse and our partner Bechtel. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is something that we have not done before, but we have committed to put equity on, on, in this project in Poland. As far as I know, there's no simple offer. It's a kind of a commitment between governments. When uh, should we expect final documents coming from American government to Poland? The, uh, all the information from Westinghouse and Bechtel was submitted to the, our client, PEJ, as well as uh, the U.S. government. The U.S. government is final, uh, finalizing the offer, and uh, we understand that uh, they're following certain protocols uh, with steering committees, and this, uh, we understand, will be submitted early next week. Uh, so we look forward to that. Yeah, and I believe we will deliver news about it as Rzeczpospolita. Thank you very much. Proszę Państwa, teraz jak już widać, tylko czekamy na ostateczne potwierdzenie oferty przez rząd amerykański. Mam nadzieję, że polski rząd w najbliższym czasie przedstawi i termin, i głównego partnera do rozwoju energetyki jądrowej w naszym kraju. Uprzejmie dziękuję.